the putra swami judgment was was a fantastic judgment because it laid down almost uh, every aspect of privacy in, uh, you know to to delineate the various aspects and that's why it lays down that you know there has to be legality there has to be necessity and there has to be proportionality you know uh, when 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 the state interferes okay it's obviously it's very helpful for the citizens themselves but what does let's say a government or a state authority have to gain from saying you know um, encryption is something that's valuable to us or what what exactly does a state or a government um, gain in terms of pushing forward encryption practices you're right that uh, the encryption debate has uh, virtually seized the imagination of people across the world because uh, this is this is today a most uh, uh, vital need of the hour to for preservation of privacy um where privacy has been declared as a fundamental right uh, by by the putta swami judgment of 2017 in fact uh, you know if you talk about privacy right in the 18th century william pitt had uh, given this famous uh, statement that you know how a poor man uh, can live very freely in his hut the storm can come the rain can you know splatter the roof and the winds can enter but even the king of england cannot enter with his entire force and that was the strength of privacy he talked about in 18th century in 17 um uh, some 18th century and today after 200 year odd years uh, putta swami judgment has has given a firm stamp that yes it is a fundamental right now the issue is as you rightly said that there is the need of the state also and and for national security perspective where the state also warns that there should be no breach in 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 its in its security wall so how do we balance uh, both and how do we look at this encryption debate that's a very important thing now secondly you said how does the state look at uh, encryption the state does look at uh, encryption in a very positive manner because state has to protect its uh, critical uh, interest structure is core sector whether it is defense whether it is you know banking and and there is a, already a, a step in this regard in every country whatsoever because data is the protection sphere today which is most important now let me give you an example even in united states of america when they banned uh, huawei uh, it was because they had created backdoor to the Uh, encryption and the information was flowing to china that was one of the allegations which was made of course but you have other examples too you have you have the national health service of britain being 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 affected by an nsa malware uh, you have the iranian nuclear program which was which was infiltrated i think by it was a us israeli uh, some malware and again the, the the power grid of united states of america itself uh, uh, by the russians so you know there is the cyber security the economic security you can't let it be compromised and therefore it would certainly be in the, the state interest to see that that uh, encryption encryption stays and in fact even in the data protection uh, bill which is being uh, discussed by the joint uh, uh, parliamentary uh, committee it has been uh, you know affirmed that uh, encryption is a good thing under uh, what circumstances uh, do you believe that the government has the right to uh, for the lack of a better word forego the right to privacy of an individual uh, what kind of examples come up in this case that's a key issue which you have you have raised that you know what are the exceptional circumstances under which state can intervene uh, with the privacy and i think you know the uh, the the putta swami judgment was was a fantastic judgment because it laid down almost uh, every aspect of privacy in, uh, you know to to delineate the various aspects and that's why it lays down that you know there has to be legality there has to be necessity and there has to be proportionality you know uh, when 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 the state interferes and i think that is is the is the basic parameter which which is given to the state and the intelligence agencies that these are the circumstances that you have to prove that it is absolutely essential in in pursuit of your law and authority and that the intervention should be proportional 
to to proportionate to the to the area of you know so called breach or yeah which you are talking about and that it should be legitimate too legitimate means that there should be the legality associated with it that whether you 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 do it through your judicial warrant whether you do it through a parliament oversight whether you do it through a laid down uh, a system or a norm that the state should go into it so that way it is very very uh, well defined now the issue is that uh, uh, yes what are you going to achieve that is a technical question and and that we can come later whether we are talking about the about the metadata or we are talking about the content that comes later but as far as the interfering with the privacy of the public is concerned there is a laid down parameter by the putta swami judgment you had mentioned this point about proportionality um so in in real cases let's say just whatever examples what would proportionality play out like in the real world what how how would somebody say okay this is the kind of uh, action that's needed for whatever is taking place you know uh, this depends on of course case to case basis depending what is the kind of a breach you are expecting see there are two kinds of uh, things we are looking at here criminal investigation is different from say counter terrorism where you are trying to prevent something to prevent something obviously you have to rummage through data mm-hmm. and i i hope you understand what i am referring to yeah, you yeah. you're talking about proportionality it should not mean that for a particular breach which may be of this dimension you are not you know going through the whole world searching uh, like the fbi said you know we have to search for needles in a haystack so you are not uh, just uh, doing a mass kind of a surveillance while the objective is something very very small so that is why what i'm saying is that whenever an intervention of this kind is done it the justification should be given to somebody now that justification should be in the laid down norms or whether you want to do a surveillance reform do it under parliamentary oversight or do it under judicial oversight that is the proportionality which we are talking about which should not only be adjudged by the agencies but it should also be overseen by the mandated authority 